Hey guys, it's Crystal, and this is take two of my Microsoft Surface Duo unboxing. I actually just ripped off the plastic only to realize my audio wasn't recording. Hashtag video making problems. Hey guys, it's Crystal, and I might look pretty excited right now, but little do I know my audio isn't recording. <laughs> That's it. Now back to the unboxing. Here we are. And what I was gonna say before is I didn't realize how thin this actually is. Like, I was thinking it was a lot bulkier. Wow. There it is. Oh man. This is a lot, a lot. Oh, it flips that way. This is a lot cooler than I thought it was gonna be. Before we power this baby on, let's see what else is in this box. In classic unboxing fashion. Surface Duo Bumper. I guess that's to have some extra protection on the device. What's in here? Sim ejector tool. Some paperwork. I'm guessing this is a charging brick. Yes, it is. Charging brick right here. Clean. And the charging cable. Of course, USB-C. 2020. Now we are going to power this on for the very first time. And I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I don't really know much about this. I've kind of shied away from the videos a little bit just because I wanted to enjoy all of his glory for myself for the first time. It's powering on. Wow. Oh. Powered by Android. Yes, this is a Google and Microsoft device. So this definitely feels like a tablet and it's kind of crazy to think that this is actually a phone as well. I'm curious to know how many of you guys would actually use a phone like this. Let me know in the comments below, but let's set it up and get to the fun stuff. So we're all set up and just look at that display. It is AMOLED, definitely can tell with those deep blacks and vivid colors. Looks really good. I do wish the screen was a little more bezel-less. Those bezels are kind of in your face, but maybe in the second gen version of this device. Overall though, this is really fun to do. <laughs> Scrolling back and forth. You would think that hinge is more annoying, like that little space in the middle, but it really doesn't bother me. And I'm excited to use this as a, I mean, this is like the multitasking dream right now, because you're getting two, basically two phone screens in one where it feels like separated enough, but also together, it's, it's weird but it's cool. There's also a fingerprint scanner on here. By first look, you wouldn't think that there is one because it doesn't even look like one. It's just a little indentation on the side, but just open it up, place a finger. It's pretty quick. I love the locking sounds too. Nice. One thing I noticed right off the bat is that you can almost use this in like a little laptop mode if you flip it this way. Everything starts to feel like a laptop, especially with apps that take advantage of the keyboard. So I'm going to open Docs, and it is cool being that this is a Microsoft device. You get all those Microsoft Office apps preloaded onto the device, but I use Docs a lot, so let's go into that. I am typing on the Surface Duo, definitely Something you gotta get used to, but it is really cool in the sense that it does feel like a mini laptop, like it really does. And I'm excited to see, like there's probably a lot of ways that you can take advantage of that dual screen mode, obviously just using two separate apps on the different screens, but this is like a really unique little way. I feel like I would use it more this way, I wanna say, just if I'm like, just doing like maybe Instagram on one side and watching a YouTube video on the other, but that whole typing thing, like on the go is really cool. Speaking of Instagram and YouTube, I have it all set up here and I am already loving the fact that Instagram is conformed for this device, which is crazy that it's not on iPad yet, but on here is looking great. Right next to that, I have YouTube. So let's play a video and check out those speakers. Quick little speaker test. I'm gonna play one of Gabby's latest covers. Let's see how that sounds. Let's pump up the volume. That's the highest it goes, I believe. Wish it was a little louder. I wish that we could go like full, full screen, but we can't because of those bezels. So it's kind of a little square if you're watching it this way. 
So speakers sound good and clear. I just wish they were a little bit louder. I think that my brain is thinking that this is a tablet, but it is a phone. So for a phone, this it sounds really good. I just, just wish it was a tad bit louder. But yeah, that's my little sister Gabby. For anybody who hasn't checked out her videos, I'll link it down below. And I actually think she has a new cover today, so make sure you head over there and subscribe. Now I'm going to launch the camera for the first time. I'm really interested in seeing how that works on here. So we have one camera on this side. It is an 11 megapixel camera, I believe. And that is all, there's nothing on the back. It is just that one camera on this screen. So it's opened up. Are we gonna take our first Microsoft Surface Duo selfie? Oh, this is kind of cool. It's like a little <laughs> compact mirror vibe. It feels pretty wide. I don't know if that's just because of the way that I'm holding it, but no, it is pretty, yeah, feels nice and wide. It's not cropped in or anything. Let's take one. Oh, we could do a portrait. Real quickly, just to see what my iPhone looks compared to it, let's take a selfie on there just for comparison's sake. So you're more than likely not buying the Surface Duo just for the camera, but for reference, here's what they look like side by side. So just for fun, let's do a quick little selfie video. And I know that I'm saying selfie video, but there really is only one camera on here. So whatever you get from the selfies, what you're gonna get from the rear camera. It's a little confusing because the way you flip flop is by closing the screen and it brings your viewfinder on here. You use the camera on the other side. Uh, well, the only camera. And then you got like a camera view like this. But back to what video looks like. Let's record a quick little clip on here. Starting now, here we go. Looking good. This is a 4K. You can go up to 4K 60 if you would like. I kind of really love this whole setup. Like if you are into vlogging, this could be a really great option for you. Hopefully the video holds up well, but I really like this. Like. It makes it really simple to just grab and go and just start start recording on here. Another cool thing I noticed diving into these camera settings is that you can turn on HDR photo and video if you would like. Again, you're not gonna be buying this device for the camera itself, so there's no pro mode or anything like that on here, but I am curious to see what the camera looks like outside. So first impressions overall, I'm pretty impressed with it. I definitely thought it was gonna be a lot more clunky, especially the folding mechanism part of it, but it's pretty clean. And I mean, there's definitely things that aren't quite perfect yet, especially the software experience was a little buggy while I was doing things and trying out different apps, especially the auto rotate sometimes wasn't working well and the screen will get cut off on the sides. So the software is not quite there yet, but I'm excited to see where Microsoft hopefully takes this in the future. And if you guys want a more in-depth look at this, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys want to know about it. There's definitely a lot of things that I still want to do with it, like simply making a phone call, for example, or even editing some photos, just the things that I would regularly do on a phone, but also a phone with two screens. <laughs> if you missed it, I also dropped a Pixel 4a versus iPhone SE video, and I'm also giving one of those phones away, so make sure you go check out that video linked below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you later.